Welcome everyone. I'm sorry this video might have a really random start because I just literally turned on my camera and my microphone without any serious preparations. But I wanted to say that I was like, you know, casually doing this and that uh, after this, you know, whole uh, finished Christmas series, kind of rest it out a little bit. And then what I saw on YouTube, Krita 5 is out and it's been out for almost a week and I didn't know about it, like I've been waiting to try this out for months and I didn't want to jump into the beta version because I'm like super annoyed by anything that might be buggy or might crash or something and it's finally here and I'm like late and I didn't uh, try it out at launch day so we're going to do that and uh, there are two things in crit of 5 that i really wanted to try out one thing is the performance improvement of the program right now i'm either experiencing the most brutal placebo effect that i've ever experienced or the performance of this program is like greatly improved this performance is something that I've only seen in Photoshop when I was using that. Pretty much the only downside of Krita for me was that uh, it has a lesser performance. And right now I really feel like that I, I just upgraded back to that stage that I'm painting real time again. And it's like, it wasn't like laggy or really slow before. But it's like when you when you have a little stone in your shoe and you've been walking in it for I don't know how long and you take it out and you realize that wow it, uh, this must have felt really bad and how was I able to walk like that and this is the the feeling that I'm having right now and the other thing that I was really hyped about is the built-in recording function that you see here and I still haven't uh, figured out how exactly it works, but I'm really happy that there's this new function in here and it will make my, uh, you know, recordings much more easier, or at least now I'm seeing that it will make my recordings much easier and I just really want to try out with a new artwork. There's this picture. Okay, so she's Bonnie Wright and uh, she played uh, Ginny Weasley in the Harry Potter series. And this picture came out in July 2nd. It's from her official Instagram account. And I, I saw this picture and I said that, okay, I want to turn this picture into an adult Ginny Weasley fan art. So what we know about Ginny from her later life is that she became a professional Quidditch player. And then she, when she retired, she became a sports magazine a uh, creator. Let me just look up. She became the senior Quidditch correspondent of the Daily Prophet show. So she worked for the Daily Prophet, but she created the Quidditch team in the newspaper. I'm not sure how it is called. I want this to be her office and uh, like I want to genify her, like change her uh, clothes into like a uh, Gryffindor colored clothes or something, maybe do something Harry Potter related with her earring. Also put some uh, Quidditch stuff in the background. And I want to keep the laptop because I have this idea, I had this idea that maybe by the sh time she retired, these electronic devices got like popular in the wizarding world as well. And uh, even wizarding folks use them. And uh, this laptop will have a sticker with uh, like wizarding word web or something something like that but the main thing is that i want to create a genie weasley fan art based on this picture okay so i don't want to talk about this for way too long i'll uh, i've been still talking for 10 minutes already but the thing is that now i'm going to like switch off the camera and make the picture and try out the recording function in this program and we will see how it all goes so Let's jump right to this thing. What you are seeing right now is the simple window recording captured by Open Broadcaster and I'm going to switch into the built-in recording that Krita itself captured. So the main thing that I was really excited for was that now I can record the whole canvas which is much higher resolution than my monitor and this way I can put the recording into 
media studio and add these pending effects that always look nice like it's much more interesting than just seeing the whole picture at once even if you miss some details i just really like how it looks that i can uh, like pan around the picture and uh, show you different parts of the picture from different uh, stages of the process Speaking of the process, I've been experimenting more with starting with a detailed sketch and then moving forward. I feel like that it's really improving the quality of my works. And this picture ended up looking great. Also, there are many little details in the background, like the Holyhead Harpies poster and the Quidditch cups and everything, but the main point of the picture, Bonnie writes, Ginny Weasley is looking great, in my opinion, even if not entirely accurate or anything. I also decided to cut the glasses because I didn't want to confuse people since we don't know anything about Ginny wearing glasses, so that's a thing. I added a snitch as an earring and changed her clothes to red. And overall I just wanted to make a believable office that could exist in the headquarters of the Daily Prophet where Ginny worked or maybe it's her home and she has a home office or something. I just wanted to fill the whole place with uh, Ginny related stuff and I succeeded in that. So this is it, this is the final picture and I thank you very much for watching and have a nice day.